Drawing is at the heart of my practice, really. It's, it's always there. It's, you look at my pots and they are canvases, really, for, for, for a frieze, for a, a narrative that's drawn that encircles the pot. I'll come into the studio and I'll just draw and ch and draw and ch and it's a very fast process. Um, and then I'll I'll look at what I've got left and it's it's a way of meditating really on ideas and letting things settle again. And those kind of those movements, it's like the coiling of the clay is a very steady cyclical movement, or the the process of printing and drawing. It it connects my hands and my head in a way that the things that I'd been missing, that are, are sitting at the back of my head, start to come to the front. And the feeling in what I'm doing, hopefully, starts to come to the front. And then that starts to make me think, look at what those pictures, what those images look like in isolation. And um, then when I get to the end, when I've, when I've made the pot, it, it is the most exciting bit for me when I've got this huge canvas and I can just start to decorate it and start to make the story come to life. I, drew, I, I collage together images from lots of different places. They are very often from northern industrial cities and towns, from the, from the places I'm from or the places I've got experience of. And then I, I start to set the figures within those places. I may have my own reading of those stories, but I don't necessarily want other people to read those stories in the same way. If people respond to them and they bring their own ideas of what's happening, or they have an, their own emotional response to the images, I'm, I'm happiest if they're weaving together those stories and those ideas in, in their own reading or bringing their own lives into what those narratives might mean.